Jessica Frost Ballas here with a video for Lawn Fawn. Today I'm getting a little inky with distressings and creating a custom punny card for my stitched root veggies, so let's get started. First, I take a piece of stamp packaging that's larger than an A2 panel and place it on my work surface. I've placed it over a piece of white copy paper so I can see my colors more easily. I smush a little saltwater taffy, abandoned coral, and picked raspberry distressing onto the acetate and then spritz it with water. I use my fingers to mix the colors and then get rid of any harsh lines. Then I carefully pick up the acetate and place it over an A2 panel of Distress Watercolor cardstock. I use my fingers to gently press the acetate into the watercolor cardstock and let the ink soak a bit before lifting the acetate and lightly pressing it onto the cardstock a few more times. I blot off any big puddles of ink pulling around the edges of the cardstock and then dry the panel with my heat gun. Once it's almost dry, I lightly press the acetate onto the panel again to transfer the remaining ink. Then I repeat the process with more ink and water. This time I don't use quite as much water so I get more color and texture. I dry the panel again and then spritz it with DIY shimmer spray, mixing water and liquid stardust in a spray bottle. Then I set the panel aside to dry completely. Once it's dry, I place one layer of the Lots of Hearts background stencil over the panel and lightly blend picked raspberry and abandoned coral distress ink over parts of the stencil. I just want the faint hearts scattered around the panel for a little more interest. Next it's time to work on my veggies. I die cut the two beet shaped veggies using guava and raspberry cardstock and the leafy tops from cilantro cardstock. Then I use a little temporary adhesive to adhere them to a piece of copy paper. I use a blending brush to lightly blend abandoned coral and picked raspberry onto the beets to create some shading. I also add a little mowed lawn ink to the bottom of my leafy greens. This just helps to add a little more dimension to my die cuts. Next I use liquid glue to adhere black cardstock behind the beads so that you can see their cute smiles. I also add the pink cheeks to the guava cardstock bead. And now it's time to create my sentiment. I use Henry's ABCs to die cut the word beat from black cardstock and black glitter cardstock. I adhere the black glitter cardstock over the black cardstock to create a chipboard-like sentiment. Then I use Henry Jr's ABC stamps to spell out the rest of my sentiment on the lid of my Misty. I did this off camera to save a little time, but basically I just lined up each word on a little bit of an arch and then added more space between the letters and the word skip, just for fun. I stamped the sentiment onto the ink smushed panel with Versafine 
and then heat emboss it with clear embossing powder. To assemble my cards, I adhere the darker beat to the panel with liquid glue and then add the lighter beat with foam tape for a little extra dimension. I adhere the beat letters to the panel with liquid glue. Off camera, I add a little shimmer to the beach cheeks and a few accents with a white gel pen to finish the card. And that's it! I hope you enjoyed today's video, and if you did, I'd love for you to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. Be sure to subscribe to the Lawn Fawn channel for even more crafty inspiration. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, have a fantastic day and happy crafting. Bye!